Good Tuesday evening. I'm Brian Newdorf. I'm one of the meteorologists here at the National Weather Service office in Louisville, Kentucky. Wanted to give you an evening update on where things stand on the latest with our impacts coming from this midweek uh, winter storm that's going to work its way through the Ohio Valley. Here are the latest when it comes to our uh, winter advisories, winter storm watches and warnings. And right now we currently have um, Southern Indiana and North Central Kentucky under a winter storm watch valid for Thursday morning into early Friday morning. Uh, and then we will see more of these changes, especially maybe as we go into the day. But right now, currently over to the west, we've got winter storm warnings for Western Kentucky and into parts of Indiana, a winter storm warning as well. A couple key things to bring to your attention. First of all, tomorrow, it's rain, but some of that rain can be moderate to heavy. And uh, that could produce some localized flooding, especially in some river locations, especially throughout the entire event going into Friday. It's also towards the south where most of this precipitation will fall as rain, which then could lead to those river flooding possibilities later in the week and into the weekend. The other thing that we are concerned about with this winter storm is, of course, the transition from rain tomorrow, eventually becoming a wintry mix of sleet and freezing rain overnight Wednesday into early Thursday morning, and the impact, uh, impactful accumulations of ice, sleet, and snow that goes into Friday morning. So the impacts, or at least the biggest concerns with any freezing rain is, of course, power outages and tree damages, and of course, the difficulty of traveling. And the highlight area would be more into Thursday into Friday morning as temperatures get colder. So that if you don't have to travel, it might be a good idea now to start planning and get your errands done so they don't have to travel, uh, say, Thursday into Friday. And then it's going to get cold as we work behind and go into the end of the week and into the weekend. So what is the difference when we talk about sleet and freezing rain? Well, obviously rain is all liquid. It never refreezes. It just comes down as water. Freezing rain that's kind of, you've got a large area of temperatures above freezing, above the ground, and it falls completely as water, and then it hits the surface. What you need, though, is you need a period of time at the surface for temperatures to drop below freezing, and then that's when it, it instantly freezes on contact, and it starts to put on that glaze of ice. The next thing is sleet. You have a much shallower warm layer closer to the clouds, and that's water, and then it refreezes into that kind of hardy, hard ice pellet of such, and then it becomes an ice before reaching the surface. That's what sleet is, and then when it's completely cold, top to bottom, uh, that is what we look at as far as snow. So let's kind of time this out. Across southern Indiana from Jasper to Tell City, you can see here it makes that transition earlier because this is going to be kind of working from the northwest, and it's working its way south off towards the southeast. So you're going to have a chunk of time of either freezing rain or sleet. And that's where the big question mark is with all of this. During the morning and into, say, the af early afternoon before it starts to make that transition over from sleet to snow. And again, these are not hard times. It's kind of why you see that kind of blurred out area. Same thing from uh, Madison, Indiana to Tell City. Now, of course, Louisville, you may start to see that transition from rain to snow or mixing with rain as temperatures fall at around, uh, say, 7, 8, 9 a.m. and then carrying us through the midday and into the evening hours. And then by midnight, and again, sometime on either side of midnight, could start to see that sleet or freezing rain change over to snow and light flurries. And then for Frankfurt, Lexington, uh, it is later in the day, towards the afternoon for Frankfurt, towards uh, late afternoon, early evening for Lexington, when you see that transition of rain to freezing rain, and then eventually becoming a period of very, very light snow for a very, very brief uh, period of time. But again, timing is still on the low side. We're getting better. It's getting a little better. But again, we will know more as we get closer. Let's talk about the rain first. And the rain amounts are anywhere from two and a half to three and a half inches, as most of the precipitation will fall as rain, which will lead to localized flooding, as was mentioned earlier. And again, some possible river flooding at some of our sites, and that would carry us into the weekend. So we need to watch that closely. And then it's the ice, accumulating ice and sleet going Thursday. And that's going to be the main time. Again, it could start as early as late Wednesday night, especially up and towards uh, Indiana, southern Indiana, and near Jasper, and then it's going to work its way south, southeast. And then it's going to make that transition to a freezing rain and sleet. And I think it's important to point out that freezing rain and sleet are very different. And if it doesn't change over to sleet very quickly, then you're going to be dealing with freezing rain, and that's when the problems occur. Sleet, on the other hand, uh, while still not easy, uh, sleet will reduce the glazing of freezing rain, the stress on power lines and trees, and that's 
something uh, that we're going to be watching carefully. So again, either way, expect travel to be significantly impacted, especially early Thursday for the north and then throughout the day, carrying us into Friday morning. And again, there's that possibility of freezing rain north of the Bluegrass Parkway of up to a quarter of an inch of ice with maybe one third to a half an inch of sleet mixed in. And again, that's going to be pretty much the wild card. But areas north and south of the Ohio River do range from anywhere from a quarter to just shy of a half an inch as of right now when it comes to ice. Then there's that possibility of snow on the back edge. Uh, it's really going to come down to how long does it snow. And as of right now, some of the so more of our data comes in once to get this out of here really quickly. Very little, in the, if any, snow, especially as you go south of Louisville. So the main focus for any snow seems to be across southern Indiana. We will watch that. I think it is more on the lower side of things. But again, we will have to see how long and how quickly things change over. Those timings are going to be very key, not only for how long it's freezing rain, but sleet, and then potentially uh, becoming snow as we go late Thursday and into Friday. So right now, it all preparing for the winter storm. We're in that ready stage, but we're almost set. Uh, you need to make those plans. Make sure the vehicle, your home, all the things that you may need are in place in case something were to happen. Set. You need the storm gets closer, starting tomorrow, making changes to your travel schedule, um, even after the storm. And then go. As the storm arrives, just make sure all those plans are in place. Sit tight. Watch it out. Don't put yourself in harm's way. And that is how things are shaping up. We will have more updates as we make our way throughout the overnight tonight and into the day on Wednesday tomorrow, and of course, as we go throughout the duration of this particular storm. Thank you for checking out and watching our video.